After months of anger and frustration between people and police in some parts of the country, tonight, Lynn County and Cedar Rapids leaders gathered to sit down and talk. The idea was to be proactive and start a conversation about the relationship between law enforcement and citizens before something like the events of Ferguson or New York City take place here. CBS2 News reporter Mugo Odigwe was there tonight and has more for us. Mugo. Yes, the six-person panel had a lot to discuss. They talked about issues like the use of force in the police department, as well as diversity in law enforcement. Dialogue, they say, will help build a more peaceful community. The events of August 9, 2014 in Ferguson, Missouri, just five hours from where we are today, will forever be etched in our memories. Avoiding such an event is what brought scores of community members to Kennedy High School Saturday afternoon. I think this is the perfect time to have that community conversation on how we police each other. Organizers say that conversation starts now and with young people in mind. As a high school principal, you know, we have an opportunity to hear from students on a daily basis. And, you know, sometimes there's a, there's a negative perception about law enforcement. That's why Dr. Grant, along with others like the Cedar Rapids police chief and the Lynn County Sheriff, formed a panel that say there is work to be done. For a long time, there's been this mistrust between the African-American community and law enforcement. So at the center of Saturday's forum was the idea of being open and honest about the needed changes. For example, Sheriff Gardner says there are currently no African-Americans employed as full-time deputy sheriffs in Lynn County. He says they try to be diverse in their recruiting, but obviously they need some help and he's asking the community to get on board. What can the public do to help us um, get recruits that have more diversity than the current uh, staffing at the, at the sheriff's office? Still, some residents say the forum needs to be more inclusive. It was a little bit too scripted. There was no audience participation and uh, I have a problem with that. For others though, this is a start. I will say this shouldn't be a one and done conversation. This needs to be ongoing in the community so that we can take proactive steps. Organizers say this is just one of four forums they plan to have this year. Meanwhile, they are asking residents to sign up for this year's Citizens Police Academy, an eight-week program where people learn about what police officers really do. We'll have a link on our website on how to sign up. Mugo Digwe, CBS 2 News.